This video shows how to open the auto transmission valve body and how to remove and replace the torque converter clutch pressure control solenoid valve Toyota Corolla, and how to test Truckeo converter clutch pressure control solenoid valve Toyota. Heard gear shifting solved the issue watching the full video. This car is Toyota Corolla Altis IVTEC 1.8 cc year 2009 to 2014. The problem of the car is that after starting the check engine light is on and while driving the car has very low speed power. The car consumes while driving more the car when the gear the engine RPM changes suddenly increases to solve these problems. Watch this video today you can repair it inshallah my best wishes and congratulations from this channel if you like this video please subscribe the channel next new click the bell button to get the video and share the video with your friends. Be sure to check your vehicle with an ice can computer to find out what caused the check engine light to come on. I check this car has no engine code. So I will check this transmission code. Transmission fault code P2763 True Converter Clutch Pressure Control Solenoid Control Circuit High. How to fix P2763, how to test bathe control solenoid valve Toyota, watch my video. Video link is given in the description box. Click the link to watch the video. Number 1 Remove the Auto Transmission TCCVT Fullet. Toyota Corolla Altis IVTEC Auto Transmission Fluid Remove this Drian Volt 6 m M size linky. Use the 6 mm lane key to open the drain valve and open the filter tub inside the gearbox. Number 2 Remove the Auto Transmission Gearbox Oil Pan. Auto Gearbox Oil Pan Unscrew all 10 mm screws, Auto Transmission Gearbox Oil Pan and remove it. Number 3 Remove the Transmission TC Auto Filter Open the Auto Transmission Filter, so unscrew the 3 screws and remove the Auto Filter, if it is dirty you should change the filter, remember that a dirty filter can cause your car to have the same problem. Number 4 Remove the Auto Transmission Control Valve Body What is a transmission valve body? A transmission valve body is the brain of an automatic transmission outputting signals to engage the clutch and shift at the appropriate time. There are two types of transmission valve bodies, an electronic valve body and a hydraulic valve body. Unplug the solenoid wire socket in auto gear see hair black color 2 socket solenoid sensor is good but blue color 1 socket has problem solenoid sensor is not working so need to change. To change the solenoid of Toyota Corolla, the valve body must be opened. So remove all the screws to open the valve body of the auto transmission gearbox. To open the valve body first open all the screw of the valve body one by one. Remove the valve body as follows remove the damaged TC transmission solenoid valve and open and test the solenoid sensor. Toyota Corolla Altis 1.8 cc auto transmission valve body opening will be no problem and no cause for fear. I show you so watch the video so you can repair it too. TC solenoid sensor is removed then hang the transmission valve body with screws this way it will be easy to work.
my car has torque converter clutch control solenoid problem so took it apart now I will test it and show you. Number 5 How to Test TC Solenoid Valve Motor Toyota This sensor is a one wire connection so now a wire is connected to the socket of the charger and connected to the positive, plus, and negative, side of the battery to check, after opening you can check like this touch the battery, negative side of the solenoid body and its connection touch the positive, plus, cable of the battery if it is good then there will be sound and if it is broken then there will be no sound. If no sound then it needs to be replaced, I have this solenoid P broken so no sound, I will change and install a new solenoid P. This is the new solenoid valve sensor ordered for new valve solenoid sensor to replacement now I will test the new solenoid valve for your understanding. So let's begin. Connect a cable like this to the new valve solenoid then check with the car battery. Look, I'll check the new valve solenoid. It makes a sound if you test it like before. If it's good then it will definitely sound like the solenoid sensor is not the problem, but the solenoid I was testing earlier was damaged, so there are no words. Now I will install the new TC valve solenoid, to install new Sunny Leone first remove this middle solenoid sensor. Install the new solenoid and fit the middle solenoid sensor as the two solenoids are attached with one screw. When open the 10mm size screw and first open the middle solenoid sensor and then open the side TC solenoid to change the Position the two sensors correctly and fasten them well with a size 10mm screw. Valve body keys to gear The valve body is the tool that allows an automatic transmission to function properly by channeling hydraulic fluid through multiple paths. The valve body is able to trigger the correct clutch pack for the selected gearing. When installing the valve body, be sure to ensure proper seating with the gear lock and valve body shaft. This o-ring is correct and does not loosen. Auto transmission valve body install install the auto transmission valve body if everything is okay. Now I will install the auto transmission valve body. Check that the valve body key and gear shaft are seated perfectly. Install the auto transmission valve body, auto transmission valve body key and gear lock shift. Exhaust enough that the gear locks with the shaft. The gear is lock engaged with the shaft and the valve body is locked by joining the shift. If everything is okay, install the auto transmission valve body and tighten all the screw O. Hold the auto transmission valve body up and do not damage the o-rings on the inside make sure that the gear soft lock is correct, refit all the screws. After installing all the screws, install the valve body solenoid sensor wire sockets. If the valve body and solenoid sockets are installed correctly, you can see from below whether the connection of the valve body shaft and the gear shaft lock is correct or not. Check if everything is okay. 
If everything is OK then install the auto transmission filter. Now I will install the auto transmission filter. If the transmission auto filter is fitted, fit the auto gearbox oil pan cover properly. Fit all screws of auto transmission gearbox oil pan properly taking care not to leak auto transmission oil. When the auto transmission gearbox oil pan installation is complete. Toyota Corolla Altis auto gearbox oil will be used CVTFTC installed as quantity. Once the auto transmission TCC VDF is installed. Turn the ignition key switch to the on position to reset the transmission fault code with scan computer. Now I will click for a transmission. Now I will click for clear faulty code. Ok done clear fault code check again read fault code. Ok done no fault code now I will start the engine. Now after starting the engine the check engine light is off, now there is no check engine light. The car is repaired now driving the car will test it now the car engine power is very strong and there is no problem to change gears while driving, if you have any problem to understand the video then comment. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me